Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shane Eikenberry, and you're watching another episode of Eichen Barbecue. Uh, first things first, sorry about the hair. Uh, we do a barber at work once a month. Uh, we're trying to kind of put it off until Christmas just to have fresh cut for Christmas. But yeah, anyways, moving on. Uh, <laughs> all the sports are going on right now. We got football, college football, basketball starting back up. It's just the season, guys. Uh, chicken wing season. This is my favorite season. Love it. Love to eat chicken wings. Love sports. So it's a good mix. I actually haven't done a video yet uh, out there on the Bronco with some chicken wings, and that's actually one of the best ways to cook them. Very simple. That Bronco, a well-seasoned Bronco, a uh, well-seasoned pit of any kind will add a ton of flavor to your wings. Uh, so it's a pretty simple cook. Cooking chicken wings is actually pretty quick too, so this is something you can throw together after work or just real quick before the game on Sunday. So we're going to get to that now. I'm going to start prepping the chicken wings, and we're going to get them out there on the pit. Stay tuned. So we're working with these beautiful whole chicken wings. Uh, the first step for me, and it's completely optional, is I like to cut them up. Uh, so I'm just gonna look for the joints here. Go right through. There you go. Then you're separating the drum from the flat. Just how I prefer to eat them. You guys can do them whole, break them apart as you eat them. Doesn't matter to me, but this is my first step. Gonna get them here, I'll do it a couple times just to show you what I do. Uh, there's a million ways to do this. You can use kitchen shears, a knife, whatever you wanna do. Uh, I just look for the joint, cut across it. Use a sharp knife or you'll get that skin. Uh, right there, the joint, cut across it. Boom, beautiful little chicken wing. All right, gonna finish doing this mound of chicken wings and then we are gonna get to the seasoning process. Pretty simple and straightforward. Then we're gonna cook, stay tuned. All right, and the next step is gonna be getting a little flavor on these wings. I'm gonna start with some olive oil, I'm trying to keep one hand clean here. Uh, you just want enough, a couple tablespoons, just enough to coat all the wings. Uh, this will help the rub adhere, and it'll also help crisp them up in the grill. I know a lot of people battle that soft skin. Uh, and that's actually uh, what I'm gonna go over today as well. We're gonna start that grill a little higher than you would a normal smoke, uh, just to kind of crisp up the skin a bit. All right, we're gonna start with the uh, Cosmos Honey Chipotle Killer B. Some good stuff here, has a little spice. We'll do well on these wings. Uh, it's kind of like a sweet and savory maybe. All right, get a good layer. Caking it on there, mix them up. Do your best to keep one hand clean. I know I'm gonna probably forget. All right, so that's enough of the Cosmos. Honestly, probably don't even need seasoning. This pit's gonna add a ton of flavor. Then we're just gonna add a little bit of this uh, Killer Hogs The Barbecue Hot. Adds a little spice to this. I love my wings with a little spice. Mix them around. Okay, they are looking good. Oh, a little slippery. Hopefully I don't drop this. Looking good, season both sides. No real reason to let this sit. I'm um, just having the grill come up to temp right now. Today we're running the uh, cowboy charcoal um, lump coal and uh, some cherry wood. Should be a good cook when that grill hits temp. Gonna get these out there on it in temp today. I'm gonna probably shoot for like 350, 400 uh, just to start them off. See you in a bit. Peace, peace. All right, ladies and gents, the pit's at about 350 right now. Uh, no heat deflector in today. Uh, typically when I cook chicken, I don't use that heat deflector. I love when the, uh, the you know, that fatty skin drips down on those coals, steams back up, provides a really nice flavor. All right, getting these wings on. Whew. Real hot. No rhyme or reason to this. I'll probably situate them a million times, I'm sure. You know, just so you know, I lit the middle of the coals, so they're kind of spreading outward toward the outside. So I would say the center's probably the hottest. Uh, without that heat deflector, I will have some hot spots, uh, but I'll just adjust the wings accordingly. Uh, it's set 350, but I'd, I'd be willing to bet it's actually closer to 400. I'm getting some pretty serious heat coming off this thing. Kind of amazing, right? Go low and slow with this bad boy or use it as a bona fide grill. No real rhyme or reason to this. I just don't want them touching. I probably should have put the thicker ones toward the middle. That's where most of that heat's coming from, but not too worried about it. Like I said, we'll adjust throughout the cook. All right, vents are wide open. Nothing special there. Gonna let this go for a little while. Get a good sear and smoke flavor on both sides. Then we'll crank it down, get a little smoke to them. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents, it's been about 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and give these a flip. You can hear them cooking. I don't know if you can actually hear them cooking, but I can hear them cooking. Getting crisp. 
All right, got them all flipped. Gonna close them up, give them about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna get to smoking them. All right, guys, it's been another 20 minutes, so about 40 minutes total. Pit, if you can see, that's about 400 right on the dot, actually. We're gonna take a look at these wings now. Finally adjust these dampers, and then we'll get some smoke on them. <laughs> they are looking just incredible. Look at them bad boys. Come on, focus. All right. Going to get these all flipped around. Keep in mind the hot spots. Some of these flats probably needing to move to the back. Get some of the drums up there. This bad boy. There we go. Yeah, these things are just looking absolutely incredible. All right, gonna get this pit closed up and let these bad boys cook. All right, just gonna adjust this side damper. Close it about halfway. Leave that little half moon shape there. Don't go by the numbers, this thing's loose. So very unreliable, it's just kind of touch at this point. But about halfway, that'll probably kick it down to about 300. I'm okay with that, we'll smoke it the rest of the way there. Probably got about uh, another 40 minutes to go. I'm gonna show you guys what I got over on my other pit though. Do a separate video on these a little later on. Back you out. Ugh. Got some beef ribs right here in the front. Pork ribs right there in the back. Need to check on those. The beef ribs I think are getting pretty close. Yeah, they're getting real close. These pork ribs though. Not a very good bend just yet. Going no wrap on these. All right, guys, gonna go back inside and give these uh, wings about 40 more minutes. Stay tuned. All right, guys, they are finally done. And these things look awesome. Beautiful char, you got that red tinge. They present really well. Still, God, focus. <laughs> Still a ton of moisture in there. But we're not done yet. We're gonna add even more flavor to these. Move this out of the way. Uh, found this guy, linked up with him on Instagram, Effective Flavors Barbecue. Seen the dude out there making sauces. They looked really interesting. Decided I would check him out. He sent me over some sauces. This one's Concoction. And oh my gosh. I mean, you can see all the, I don't even know what's in this. I know red pepper flake. Oh, I don't even know. But this stuff is beautiful beautiful i highly recommend checking this guy out he is i mean he's he's really on to something here these things are awesome i think they're like five dollars a jar plus, plus shipping could be wrong so sorry if i am but yeah head over to instagram effective flavors barbecue not sponsored in any way paid full price for these i think you guys are really gonna like it all right gonna add that to the wings so just to let you know the sauce is cold i did not warm this first I'm gonna pour it on the wings and that'll stop that cooking process and I'm ensure that we don't get any dried out wings. Uh, it's probably the only time you wanna use cold sauce on food. And this is just my opinion. You guys go about it your own way. Let's go here. Oh my God. The camera's having a fit. Has no idea what to focus on. I'm gonna have to step my camera game up pretty soon. Got a little M50. I'm happy with it, but maybe one day. We'll see. All right, and then you just wanna work that sauce around on all those wings oh you guys are gonna get seasick maybe I won't show any more of this yeah that made me seasick trying to watch the viewfinder here <laughs> all right oh my god they already smell amazing they look amazing I really want to try these out I'm gonna back you well here let's get a good look at them real quick so I don't have to walk around like I always do look at this oh my Oh, I'm so excited. All right, gonna back you guys up, get them a taste test, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Back you guys up, taste test, outro, peace. All right, hold on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys hear me say this every video, but it's time for the taste test. This is my favorite part of the video by far. I'm sure you guys can understand why. But, got these beautiful wings. I know, not the best presentation today. Very sorry. Gonna try these bad boys out. I want one with a lot of sauce. I haven't even really 
mix these too well. But beautiful looking flat right there. You can see a lot of the red pepper flake. It even looks like some garlic maybe. I don't know what this guy's doing. Sauce is awesome. Anyway, go ahead. I like to pull the two bones apart. I just clean that bad boy. Oh my god. No, it stop you in your tracks. So good. It's tough to smoke wings. A lot of the people, they'll get them out there, but low temp, and then you get that rubbery skin. Start at a high temp. Get that crisp skin to start off with. Then lower it as you go. Let that smoke just pour into there, and I think you guys are going to be really happy with the outcome. But anyway, smoked wing out on the Bronco. Got some excellent sauce here. Clean bone. Comes right off. I would wear a glove, eat it with my other hand. Oh well. Anyway. Had to test the drum out. Perfect bite through. See the steam coming off there? Oh my god. It's not fair. These are just so good. I don't even think you need seasoning. If you have a well seasoned pit, it adds all the flavor. Add, throw on that sauce at the end, you're cooking with something. You're cooking with, what? I don't know what the saying is. Cooking with grease, yeah? Cooking with wood, I don't know. My God. Oh, also I have the camera like real close to my mouth. So I'm sure you guys can hear just everything I'm doing right now. <laughs> ASMR. Kayla's not gonna have any if I keep eating. So, I'm not gonna do that. Ugh. Let's talk about what we did. Simple cook today. Got these wings out, cut them up. You don't even have to do that. You can leave them whole. They cook the same. I just, I like how they eat better when they're cut. Separate the drums from the flats. Get a little bit of olive oil on there. Today we use the uh, Cosmos Honey Chipotle Killer B. Uh, really good sweet flavor. Adds a little spice there on the end. Then the uh, Killer Hogs Barbecue Hot. It is what it is, color and heat. Then get them out there on that pit, 350, 400. You wanna run that about 40 minutes total, flip there halfway through. Lower the pit temp, get it around 300, 320. That's kind of where I was at today. For the Bronco, I adjusted that intake about halfway. Kind of makes that little half moon shape. Let that go 20, 30 minutes. Pull off any of the wings that uh, you know are over those hot zones and cook a little faster. Go ahead and pull those off as you, as you go. Just keep an eye on it every five to 10 minutes. Then get them all out there. Get some of this beautiful sauce or your favorite sauce. You can pour it on cold. Like I said, it stops that cooking process almost instantly. Kind of like if you're doing a seafood boil and you pour that ice or cold corn in at the end. Stops it almost instantly. Preserves a lot of that moisture and you don't get an overcooked wing. You just get some good stuff. Well guys, I really can't wait to chow down on this. So I'm gonna end this one now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.